Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about filter a function in the DAX queries. In the earlier videos, we talked about how to use a calculate function and how to use all function in the DAX queries. In this video, let me show you how to use the filter function. Let me go to the Power BI desktop window. So where I am planning to load the data from the SQL server here. Let me connect to my SQL server. So here my database name I am going to give as a my database server name as dot slash SQL 2012. I click on OK. It will show you the list of available databases in my server. Yes, here I am planning to use the adventure works data warehouse 2012. From this, I am planning to use a couple of dimension tables and a couple of fact tables. Here, let me select dim customer, dim geography, some uh, dim product uh, category, dim product subcategory, and fact internet sales or fact reseller sales, either whatever it is. So, let's click on OK. So once you're done with the table selections, please cross verify once and click on load. So now once you click on load, it will take you the data to the Power BI in memory. So based on the size of the data, it may take a while. If you see currently it is getting loaded. Yeah, so the load is completed. So you can see those table names and field names in the right side here in the field section. Now, so let me go to a very basic design table design first. This is a table design. Let me select what are all the um, columns which I want to display for you. English uh, country name. Not this actually it was selected this. Let's leave this. Yeah. Select this. It is already there. Let's select this and yeah, select the columns now. Yeah. Now English country name. Now let's come to come to here as a fact internet sales as a uh, tax amount and a sales amount. So let me increase the size of the uh, values columns so that its visibility will be a little better. Increase it. Okay, there's a header one. Next, come to the values part. Let's expand this. Let's increase the text size of the values as well so that readability will be more easier for us. Now, this is a very basic design till now. Okay, now let's go to the measures concept. Now, if you see, I am planning to create a measure to use those functions. How to practice the DAX functions here is let me create a measure. So let's click on new measure. So once you click on new measure, it opens a, a window where you can write an expression kind of stuff. So this is a place where we need to write a measure. Here I am planning to write a sales. Sales, I am, here I am planning to write a sales. So in this, what would be the sales amount is say, let me make it as a sales or total sales. Let me make it as a total sales equal to I'll change later that context. So calculate, calculate of sum of fact internet sales of sales amount. Or tax amount. It is sales. That's the reason why I'm going with a sales amount. Now let's close this. Close this. You can see how many bags are open and closed. Now let's click and enter it. So once you are okay with that, now so let's add that column to your. Uh, yeah, let's type enter. Now if you see here, so new column has been added, and the dim geography because I selected that dimension table here. So there's a little bit total sales come under the gym geography and you can see the icon as a different compared with the other columns. Now let's select this for this table. So once you select this table, do you see 
the sales amount by default comes from the table this total sales is coming from the our measure which has been uh, calculated recently but if you see there is no difference between the values because that is coming from a table which has been calculated based on the uh, country wise here also total sales also calculated based on the country wise so i didn't use anything now if i go here so this is a calculate function so if you go for the calculated a uh, calculate function with this kind of syntax it means that it automatically calculates the sales amount based on the country only but but physically you will not be seeing that statement here but still as yes, it is going to calculate based on the country only now let me apply a filter function so if you go to the filter if you talk about a filter filter is a function which will help you to filter the data based on the specific conditions now let me show you how to write that filter okay let me change here so later i'll change the this text first let me write a condition comma here i can write filter here if you see the um, uh, statement here calculate expression comma filter earlier i written only expression now i am going to write a filter filter so once i go for a filter it is going to show you something else filter table comma filter expression so what is the table here now so i am going to keep the table name as a dim geography dim geography comma what would be the expression here my expression is a kind of filter condition like a kind of if condition if country equal to canada if country equal to usa if country equal to some india like that now let me write that so english dim geography of english country english country region name yeah english country yeah that is the one english country region name english country region name equal to what do you want you want to go for a uh, canada sales or like australia sales a u s l i australia now so you are done with the filter if you see the filter filter is expecting one table name comma expression expression nothing but a condition now this filter give you the sales for only australia because i have added a condition for uh, english country name as a country region name as australia only now let me close the uh, parenthesis wherever it is required yes it is done let's enter this type and enter so once you type and enter if you see this the sales amount has been displayed only for the australia it did not display for the other countries it means that it will help you to filter the specific countries data only now let me change this title to australia sales australia sales let me type enter yeah if you see this australia sales which is giving you the australia sales amount for the particular uh, condition now if you want to add some more conditions you have a logical operators so like you you want the sales for canada as well so that time how to do that let's go back to the uh, what is that go back to the measure let's change this measure here as a logical operator in dax is let me see yeah so logical operator is pipe symbol so dim geography in geography country region name equal to let me add canada now once you type enter now yeah i may need to close the brackets let me see open this one second yeah now is the brackets are correct or yeah it's correct now let's click on enter yeah if you can see this now the sales amount has been calculated for the both the countries for australia and canada 
now let me change the title of it slash canada sales so that it, it give you the meaningful names for my sales so this is how we'll help we'll write the dax queries with the help of the filter function so you can add a some more and condition you even you can add a and condition here so english country region name equal to australia and some if you want to write a specific state name dim geography of state province name equal to some xyz in the state name so you can apply any kind of logical operator in the filter condition so that's it so this is how we will write the filter conditions or filter expressions in the dax queries that's it thank you for watching if you like our videos please subscribe and comment and please share it with all your friends thank you that's it